All right, so this is just going to be a quick video about getting um, particles to get the right color in V-Ray. So what we have here is um, we've got a surface emitter. It's a sphere with a uh, with the texture that I'm going to use also for the emission. If we check the emitter attributes um, down here, it has a particle color and inherit colors turned on. Uh, and this map is uh, just directly pulling from uh, this ramp that I created. So it's on the sphere as well. And the particles uh, already have in their um, in their particle attributes. I've already added the RGBPP value from this here. I can add that per particle, and that's what allows them to inherit their colors. And if I hit play, uh, they're doing this. So in this scene, we've got a, um, a V-ray sun and sky, as well as uh, V-ray materials on the platform and the ball and the particles are just as they would be. So when I hit render, this is what you get. You get sort of a default shader on the particles without inherited color. Um, so how do we get the color on there? Well, it's a couple of steps, um, but they're not too bad. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the color is going to get off of these. So by what we do is we select the particles, we make sure that we're under, under the particle shape node, and we're going to go to the attributes menu of the attribute editor and say add a V-Ray per particle attribute export. And this is really important. Um, it's the attribute that allows V-Ray to get the information off of it. And here they are. So we're going to select RGB. And now V-Ray can know about the RGB um, value. And you can add any of these as well. So the next thing we want to do is create a shader for this. And so in the hypershade, we're going to create a V-Ray material. Just like this. Um, it doesn't show us everything that we want. We want our color available. And we're also going to um, go to the Maya Utilities and come down to the Particle Sampler node. We're going to add that and find out where Maya decides to put it. There it is. Come in closer. And we're going to expand this to see everything. And we're going to find RGBPP, which is right here, and we're going to grab it and connect it to color. And now we're going to take this shader and we're going to assign it to our spheres, particle spheres, just to make sure, just like that. So now that we've got the spheres, the particles are exporting their color to V-Ray uh, through the attribute, and we're grabbing that attribute through a particle sampler node and passing it to uh, the color information for the V-Ray material. Uh, which should be everything we need. So here's the diffuse color. That's what's getting it. We can see it's connected. And when I hit render this time, we have our particle colors. And now you're uh, very much uh, free to do whatever you want. Turn up some reflections, some glossiness, uh, and uh, whatever you want to do. Add a little roughness. And you could you could instead plug in that value uh, from color, uh, from diffuse color, in, instead into self illumination if you wanted them to glow. Um, whatever you want to do. So the shader is now your shader to play with. It's just that it'll get the colors uh, from the particles themselves. All right. So that is how you do um, particle colors uh, for V-Ray. All right. Thank you.